Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of our summer video series with Amherst. This time we are going to talk about the campus experience and as you can see I am not in the office, I'm not behind the Amherst screen, but I'm actually on the campus of George Washington University. Um, it is uh, a college in Washington DC and it also happens to be one of Amherst's college partners. So we came here to show you guys what it's really like to be on a campus visit and take a campus tour. We will be touring GW and looking at its awesome campus but we'll also be giving you tips and advice on different things that you should look at and also different questions that you should ask during your experiences as you go on college tours of different colleges and universities that you're interested in so um stay tuned we're going to be heading around the campus it's going to be really fun so uh sit tight and we'll be right back Alrighty, so you are on campus and you are ready for your college tour um, so some colleges are different than others in terms of where you need to go to actually start your tour. So I'll just be giving you sort of general ideas of what you can do on your college tour to make it most effective for you. Again, every college is different, so it may work this way for one college and maybe a little bit different for the other. But from this video, you have a very good idea of what it's like to take a campus um, tour and some things that you should ask and different places that you should see. So once you're on campus, you'll definitely want to check out the Welcome Center. The Welcome Center is self-explanatory. It's the Welcome Center. It's where you go, where the campus welcomes you, provides you with more information about um, what it is that you'd like to do on campus. Typically, colleges and universities have informational sessions um, followed by a campus tour. And in those informational sessions, they will give you a ton of information about the college and university. They'll tell you about admissions, they'll tell you about the different programs and majors that the college has. Any information that you want um, about this particular college or university, you will find in the information session. So once the information session is done, you've gotten like a ton of info and you're really, really excited to see this campus. Next, you will head out for your college tour. So the college tour is when you actually visit the college, walk around, go into the buildings, all of the cool fun stuff. Um, and this is really the time to, you know, take in everything you're seeing, but at also ask a ton of different questions. So you'll have a college tour guide who um, is very knowledgeable about the college, and they'll take you around to sort of the most important areas of the university. And as they take you around, they'll be talking about um, different aspects of the university related to wherever you are. So be sure to be very, very attentive on your college tour. Um, say you're interested in engineering. If you visit the engineering hall, ask questions. Ask about sort of the student to teacher ratio um, in the engineering department. Ask about the requirements of applying to the engineering department. If you wanna be very specific um, in terms of understanding what it is that you need to do to get into that program and tour that school, ask questions it's super super important that you ask questions your tour guide knows a ton of stuff and they'd be more than happy to answer anything that they have for you um, and as you walk around campus you'll be able to see students uh, depending when you go if you go in the summertime a lot of times students aren't there um, but then sometimes they are there as well so if you see a student don't be afraid to go up to them it might be a little weird a little awkward but don't be afraid to go up to them and ask questions like, hey, you know, I'm really, really interested in X, Y, and Z school. Uh, you, um, do you go here? And if you do, how do you like it so far? Please let me know um, about your experiences here. That's a great way to really understand what the college is about and how, the co how students sort of perceive the college. Don't be too shy and ask uh, current students questions about their experiences of being on the college campus. So as you continue your college tour, Again, the main thing is just to ask a bunch of questions. If you are interested in, you know, basketball, if you guys visit the gymnasium, ask about, you know, intramural sports, um, what division the college is a part of, and what types of athletic um, opportunities are available for you. If you visit, let's say, a dorm, dorms are so different um, from college to college. So once you visit a dorm, you'll be able to learn about sort of the style of the dorms, whether it's a suite style, whether it's a single, how many people you'll be sharing with. And as you're on the college tour, they'll actually take you in. Well, for the most part, they'll actually take you into a dorm. So you'll get a real sense of sort of the type of space that you'll have once you get to college. Um, so that's something that's really exciting and something cool that you can check out. So definitely be on the lookout for that. 
Um, and as you're uh, going around the campus, don't be afraid to sort of ask questions that most students may or may not ask. Um, so especially for first-gen students. So if you're a first-gen student and you are interested in the types of supports that the student, well, the college has for you, don't be afraid to ask that. Um, your tour guide may or may not know, and if they don't, that's perfectly fine. Ask them if they can point you to someone that may know. Um, ask them if they can take you to the Multicultural Center, where a lot of um, multicultural organizations and, and um, programs are housed, and maybe you'll be able to ask someone there. Maybe um, they can take you to a professor who is a part of you know, the first generation club or whatever it is, just don't be afraid to ask those questions. Um, ask about diversity on campus. If that's something that you're really, really interested in and looking for, don't be afraid to ask about that. Um, ask, you know, um, if, you know, there are more girls than guys on campus or, you know, what, how it is to get around campus. Some campuses are really, really small. Some campuses are really, really big. Some campuses are in the city, some aren't. So this sort of mode of transportation to get around the campus will be a little bit different. A lot of colleges and universities have shuttles that'll take you from one location to the next if they have a fairly big campus. That's something that you wanna ask about. Um, also ask about the safety of the campus. Again, some campuses are in really, really big cities like New York and DC and LA. Um, and then some campuses are in very suburban and rural areas. So definitely be a, be sure to ask about the safety of on campus. I know that's something that you're interested in and definitely something that your parents and guardians are gonna be interested in as well. So get a sense and see uh, you know, how often security is there, see if they have um, you know, emergency phone systems. You'll probably see as you're walking on your college tour, you'll probably see uh, this blue light system that a lot of colleges and universities have. So ask about that because that's something very important that you'll definitely want to know about. And other things that you may want to know about um, that colleges offer are the types of organizations and programs um, and different things that you can be a come part of, um, whether it's you know Greek life or whether it's being a part of the chess club or the debate club, wherever you're interested in, be sure to ask those questions. It may or may not come up in your tour um, and it may not be specific to what you want to do, but just ask, say, hey, you know, I'm really interested in lacrosse. Is there a lacrosse team? Or, um, you know, I'm really interested in chess. Is there a chess club? Or, you know, can I start my own chess club? Be sure to ask these questions. And it may seem like a lot to ask, um, you know, constantly raising your hand on the college tour, but that's perfectly okay because this is somewhere that you're going to be living for the next four years of your life. So there is no such thing as a stupid question. There's no such thing as too many questions. As long as you get enough information as you need to make the best decision for you, that's all that matters. Again, your college tour guide is really, really excited for you to be there. They are typically students that go there, so they're going to try to convince you to go. So they're more than happy to answer any and all of your questions. So never be afraid to ask a lot of questions on campus. And also, as you're going through the college tour, you may be able to go into an actual classroom. So you'll be able to get a sense to see what classrooms are like, what study halls are like, what you know study spaces are like. A lot of cool, a lot of schools do really cool things in providing you know adequate study spaces for students, not necessarily in a library, but you know possibly inside of a dorm or inside of one of the academic buildings. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Speaking of libraries, that's something that you're going to have to um, sort of get used to. I know you're probably used to Googling everything and being on Wikipedia, but in college, you are definitely going to have to go to the library at some point to check out a book um, for a project and for a paper. So definitely get used to that. I mean, be sure to ask about the library. Um, ask about the library system, um, how many books they have, what the process is to check out a book, different things like that. It's probably not something that's on your radar now, but it's something that's going to be really important to you when you go to college. It's definitely going to be something that you need. I know a lot of colleges and universities have sort of a partnership with local colleges and universities where they have sort of a uh, interconnecting library system where, you know, if you are at school A, but school C has your book, the library can call up school C and say, hey, I need, you know, um, Cat in the Hat, even though obviously you would be checking out Cat in the Hat. I need Cat in the Hat sent to, you know, school A. 
and they'll be able to send it over to you right away. So again, that's an awesome um, perk of going to a school that has a great library system and going to a school that is surrounded by other colleges and universities. So again, these are things that are really, really important for you to know about in your college tour. And at the end of the day, it's all about how you really feel. So once you're done your tour, once you've asked all of your questions, you know, really take a step back and really try to get a sense in, to see if that, you know, if that particular school is a place that you could see yourself for four years. You know, does it have the major that you want? Does it have the study abroad opportunities that you want? I know that's one thing that a lot of students are interested in, studying abroad for a semester or two to a particular country. So if that's something that you're interested in, find out about that. You got to be there for four years. So hopefully you'll really, really like where you are. So that's why the college tour is such an important key and important piece of this entire college application process. Um, virtual tours are awesome, don't get me wrong, especially because you can't get to every school all the time, especially if you're on the East Coast, and you want to go to a school on the West Coast or, you know, whatever the difference is. Being on a college campus and actually getting a feel of what it's like and sitting in the classrooms and talking to the students and, you know, just walking around campus, that really gives you a sense of what you'll feel like personally as you're on that campus. So um, definitely take advantage of your college tour. Do as much as you can while you're there. And again, just step back and say, hey, I like this school. I think I'm going to apply. Or say, hey, I don't really like this school. I'm glad I came to visit so I could realize this probably isn't the place for me. And however you feel, that's the correct way. So um, definitely take time to do uh, college visits. It's, it's very, very fun. And it's a very great time to get a sense um, of understanding what it is that you want, especially as a first-gen student, because you're the first person to go through this process. No one else has ever done it. So definitely take full advantage. Um, be very mindful of what you're doing and just have fun. And that is all. So thanks so much for taking time out to listen to me chat with you about college visits. Get out there before the summer ends and visit colleges. It can be a local community college. It can be a local university. doesn't matter. Head out there, learn some stuff, and just enjoy yourself. Alrighty, Peace out, guys.